Spike Neural Networks. The future of brain-inspired, energy-efficient AI spike neural networks, SNNs, are a type of artificial neural network inspired by the way biological neurons communicate in the brain. Unlike traditional artificial neural networks, ENDs, which use continuous values to represent the activation levels of neurons, SNNs are event-driven and use discrete spikes, or impulses, to transmit information. This results in more biologically plausible models and provides advantages in terms of efficiency, especially in low-power and real-time computing environments. Here's a comprehensive overview of SNNs, covering their fundamentals, advantages, challenges, and applications. 1. Biological Inspiration SNNs are closely modeled after the behavior of neurons in the brain, particularly how neurons communicate through spikes, action potentials. In biological systems, neurons generate electrical impulses, spikes, when their membrane potential reaches a certain threshold. Synapses transmit these spikes to other neurons, causing them to accumulate voltage over time, eventually triggering spikes of their own. Timing of spikes is critical, as the exact moment when spikes occur carries information, rather than just the rate of spikes as in rate-based neural models. This spiking behavior makes SNNs different from traditional ANDs, where activations are continuous, often using sigmoid or ReLU activation functions. 2. Spiking neuron models Several models have been developed to represent spiking neurons. Some of the common models include Leaky Integrate and Fire Leaf model, one of the simplest and most widely used models, where a neuron integrates input spikes and fires, emits a spike, when its membrane potential exceeds a threshold. After firing, the potential resets. Izykovich model. A more complex model that balances biological accuracy and computational efficiency, capable of simulating a wide range of neuronal behaviors, such as bursting, tonic firing, and adaptation. Hodgkin-Huxley model. A highly detailed model based on differential equations that describe the ion channel's dynamics in biological neurons. It is accurate but computationally expensive. 3. Temporal coding SNNs leverage the timing of spikes to encode information, unlike traditional ANDs that rely on the magnitude of neuron activations. This makes them inherently suited for tasks where timing and sequence of events are critical. Two major types of coding schemes used in SNNs are Rate coding. Information is represented by the number of spikes, i.e., firing rate, over time, which is similar to how traditional ANDs represent activations. Temporal coding. The exact timing of individual spikes carries information. This coding is biologically more plausible and allows for more efficient information transmission in SNNs. 4. Learning in SNNs Learning in SNNs is more complex compared to traditional ANDs due to the discrete nature of spikes and the importance of timing. Common learning mechanisms include Spike Timing Dependent Plasticity STDP, a biologically inspired learning rule based on the relative timing of spikes between pre- and post-synaptic neurons. If a pre-synaptic neuron fires shortly before a post-synaptic neuron, the synapse strengthens long-term potentiation. If it fires afterward, the synapse weakens, long-term depression. STDP allows SNNs to adapt based on the temporal relationships between spikes. Supervised learning. Backpropagation, the standard method for training traditional ANDs, is challenging in SNNs due to the non-differentiable nature of spikes. However, various approaches have been developed to enable supervised learning, such as surrogate gradient methods and temporal backpropagation. Reinforcement Learning SNNs can also be trained using reinforcement learning techniques, where spikes represent actions, and learning occurs based on rewards or penalties. 5. Advantages of SNNs Energy Efficiency SNNs are highly energy efficient because they only communicate through spikes, and neurons are idle when not spiking. This event-driven nature makes them well-suited for low-power hardware such as neuromorphic chips. Real-time Processing since information is transmitted and processed through discrete events, spikes SNNs can be highly effective for real-time applications, especially in tasks requiring quick responses to sensory input. Biological plausibility. SNNs more closely resemble how the brain processes information, making them valuable for understanding biological neural networks and simulating cognitive functions.
Memory and Processing Integration In traditional systems, memory and processing are often separate, von Neumann architecture. SNNs, like the brain, integrate processing and memory, leading to faster and more efficient information flow. 6. Challenges in SNNs Training Complexity The non-differentiable nature of spikes makes training SNNs more difficult than traditional ANDs. While techniques like STDP and surrogate gradients are improving the situation, training methods are still less mature compared to backpropagation in deep learning. Lack of standard frameworks While deep learning has well-established frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch, SNNs have fewer standardized tools and libraries. However, emerging tools like Nest, Brian, and BindsNet are helping to bridge this gap. Computational overhead Simulating spiking behavior, especially with complex neuron models, can be computationally expensive. This is one reason why research in hardware acceleration, e.g., neuromorphic chips, is crucial for SNNs. 7. Neuromorphic hardware One of the most exciting aspects of SNNs is their synergy with neuromorphic hardware. Neuromorphic computing platforms are designed to mimic the brain's architecture and use spiking models to process information efficiently. Some notable neuromorphic hardware platforms include IBM TrueNorth, a neuromorphic chip with 1 million spiking neurons and 256 million synapses, designed for real-time sensory processing. Intel Loihi. Intel's neuromorphic chip that uses spiking neurons and supports on-chip learning through plasticity mechanisms like STDP. Spinnaker. A massively parallel computing platform designed to simulate large-scale spiking neural networks in real-time. 8. Applications of SNNs Robotics. SNNs are used in robotic control systems for tasks that require real-time sensory motor integration, such as obstacle avoidance, motion planning, and adaptive behavior. Neuromorphic vision systems. Spiking-based vision systems, often combined with event-based cameras, are used for high-speed visual processing in tasks like object recognition, tracking, and depth estimation. Brain-machine interfaces, BMIs, SNNs have potential applications in BMIs, where they can decode neural signals to control prosthetic devices, or encode motor commands from the brain to external systems. Speech processing. Temporal coding in SNNs can be leveraged for real-time speech recognition and processing, especially in low-power and edge computing devices. Cognitive computing. Since SNNs model brain-like computation, they are used to simulate cognitive functions, which can aid in the development of more advanced AI systems that exhibit attention, memory, and reasoning capabilities. 9. Future Prospects Research in SNNs is rapidly evolving, driven by advancements in neuromorphic hardware, learning algorithms, and biological neuroscience. As training methods improve and more powerful neuromorphic systems become available, SNNs are expected to play a major role in areas such as autonomous systems, brain-inspired AI, and the modeling of complex neural dynamics in the brain. In summary, spike neural networks hold great promise for the future of AI and computing, offering a pathway toward energy-efficient, real-time, and biologically plausible artificial intelligence systems. While challenges remain in training and scalability, the combination of SNNs with neuromorphic hardware is likely to push the boundaries of both AI and neuroscience research.